Bonjour, bonjour à tous. Hello everybody, I should say. Oui, parce que nous sommes ici en Angleterre à Yorton, en préparation de la Yorton Cell. Tous les chevaux viennent d'être filmés et photographiés sur les obstacles et vous pouvez retrouver d'ores et déjà ces images sur le catalogue interactif. Et maintenant, on va parler, nous, avec l'organisateur. Il est ici, il attend, c'est bien sûr Big D, David Futter. How are you, Dave? Good. Yeah, You're good. Right? yeah, great. Good, good, good. Can you explain us because the cell... Je n'ai pas dit la date, ce sera le 7 septembre à la Yorton Cell, le 7 septembre 2023. Can you explain how you build the catalogue, Dave Yeah, it's it's a mixture of homebreds and horses that we um, select throughout Europe, from mainly from France, but from France, Ireland, Germany, and the UK. Um, we we're very fortunate. We have a broodmare band here of 70 mares, predom 70. predominantly French bred mares that mm -hmm. we've collected over the last. I mean, Yorton, we we stood off first stallion only 15 years ago, so it's it's been quite a quite a journey and a quick journey really but mm. um, yeah so we select we select the mares that we think or the stock from the mares that we think are not necessarily going to be the ones that are going to top the sale and be commercial but the ones that we genuinely really think are selected to win races and I think our um, our percentage of winners and place horses out of this sale is starting to prove because you know we only on what a, is the percentage the percentage is around 70% of all horses that have run Mm -hmm. have worn or been placed. It's a lot. It's a lot. When you think we only sell, we started off with the first sale of around 35, and we all, the most we ever have in the sale is we catalogue 50, but we normally, through some are lost on the journey and through vetting, and we usually sell somewhere around about only 40 horses. And it's a young year. sale? It's young, a... only selling young yearlings and two-year-olds, and we're only going into our fifth year. So we feel very fortunate to have the success we've had from the sale. From the sale who started only five years ago? Yeah, four, year, four, four years, years ago. Four years ago. Yeah, going into our fifth year. What yeah. are the best horses you have from the sale? Um, well, of course, the, the, the Starline Act is in the pocket, a horse mm. that was bred here at Yorton with Tessa Greatrix. Um, group one. Group one winner. Um, we've had Redemption Day come out of the first sale as well. He was second in a group one in a bumper for Willie Mullins, beaten by Vassal Vega, only beaten this much. Mm. And also some nice winners in France, trained Look. by French trainers. I can't thank the French trainers enough. I don't need to mention all of them, but they know who they are, who came here on the first sale. They were so important to come. Our system here at Yorton is a lot based on what the guys do back in France. We believe to get them going started early. We prepare them in a similar way. Um, and we like to improve that again and keep doing it. And, and for the French trainers to come over and the French breeders, as French breeders come over and French owners, you know, they, they are integral to, to the success of the sale. And you said that you try to stay away from the fashion. Can you explain? Oh, yeah, I, I think um, as an industry, we all have to be careful not to follow fashion too much. I mean, it was always in Ireland and always over here. When I first started, when I first met you 15 years ago, when I was going around France, and there was only a few guys from Ireland and England going around, the French breeder um, went to the stallion that was just down the road or didn't follow the fashion. And I think we have to be careful. When, when I first came, there was only three stallions in France that's covered over 100 mares, and now there's 30. And I think we have to remember that mares produce winners not the stallions. Mm. There are some stallions, very few, that produce winner after winner. So you would advise But the French breeder to not follow too much the Irish fashion way to, to yeah, the stallions? Yeah, I, I think, and we have to, in, in Ireland and in the UK, as a breed, as a, as a three nations that are breed national hunt horses, I think we all have to be careful of who, if we can't keep going all to the same size. Um, you, we're not going to be rewarded at the sale for that. But also at this sale, I think it's proven that there are, there are stallions that we select, that we have in this sale, that people would never have heard of. Mm. And yet the, 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 the actual physical horse itself can go and win races over jumps. Mm. And that's what we, we shouldn't lose our horsemanship. Um, and the French um, breeders, their success came from, they were a lot of them, many of them, were good stockmen. Mm. They could look after cattle, they could look after horses, and we shouldn't lose those basics that it, it doesn't matter too much, the sire, mm. the mare, and what the mare is breeding is the most important thing for me. I could be talking absolute <laughs> rubbish, I don't know, but it's what, I, what, what we think here at Yorton. Thank you, David. 
Now, the rendezvous is on the 7th of September. Rendez-vous, bien sûr, le 7 septembre, en début d'après-midi, pour vivre en direct cette Yorton Cell, une boutique Cell très particulière. En attendant, vous pouvez retrouver les vidéos des chevaux qui ont sauté, en photo aussi, les photos de confirmation, bien sûr, sur le catalogue interactif, comme vous en avez l'habitude. Bye bye